Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jacob, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Canon PowerShot SX 540HS. This is a digital camera. It is not a full DSLR. It is a bridge to DSLR, which means that it is a camera for beginner photographers trying to learn how to use different modes and settings within the camera. In the box, it comes with the user's guide, a lens cap, battery charger, and the camera. I have already charged the battery. It does not come charged in the box, but I charge this for the purpose of this video. And it does not come with a D, um, SD card. You have to pre- buy one for yourself. It also comes with this strap, which I really like. And yeah, now let's get into how to use the camera. There is a power button on the top. This is the camera overview. There is the control pad on the top. To use the camera, it comes with scene, which is where you can change the modes like portrait, smart shutter, as you can tell, there's many different settings, but I use portrait for my videos. Then you can go to sports mode, where you can take continuous shots. And then there is creative shot, which adds different presets and different kinds of features to the photo that you don't really have to do. Then there's auto, where it automatically changes the settings for you if you're just starting up photography and you don't know how to change the aperture, shutter speed, stuff like that. Then what also I use live for taking very great video. Then P is for program where you can change the um, aperture and how much light it lets in. TV is shutter speed priority and you can change the shutter speed and the camera will automatically sec select the aperture. AV is aperture priority and manual is for setting aperture. You can change through it all and pick which one is best for you. Now I'm going outside and show you how it works. Here's where I'll show you how the zoom works. The bird feeder over there, I'm going to zoom into it. This is only about, about 20x, but it can go 50 optical and 200 digital. Now I'm going to show you the photo that I just took. It's pretty clear. It's 20.3 megapixels, and you can get many great shots with this camera. So, overall, this is a very great camera, and to show some photos I've taken with this camera, I just went to my Instagram account. You can follow it at underscore refined underscore lenses, and you can see more photos from me. First off, I've taken this self-portrait with a deck of cards. It has a very good zoom and very good autofocus. You can zoom into the moon and get some very sharp photos. I've taken some fast shutter speeds of my rabbit with it. Very good for moving subjects and very good for animals as well I've noticed. I'll just scroll through and show you photos. This one was taken in Myrtle Beach. I love sunset photos. I also love to take portraits. Another self-portrait. That was actually taken with my phone. This phone. My phone. 
my phone, that one's not the greatest. My phone, that was kind of bad. This was also my phone. Phone. All of these ones were taken with my phone, but overall this is a really good camera. It has very great zoom. It is a very clear camera for portraits, animal photography. It has a pretty good range of shutter speed. I don't remember off the top of my head what it is, but it is very good. So, thanks for watching. Also, this camera is Wi-Fi compatible, which means it has Wi-Fi in it, and you can send photos to your phone or laptop, wherever you are. You need to download the app camera, Canon Camera Connect. It just looks like this when you open it, and you can you can shoot from your phone. You can set all the various camera functions from your phone, like shutter speed, aperture, and you can also go on to the camera and take the photos off. The icon on the camera looks like this, and you just press that and really go from there. If you would like another video me of me explaining how to do that, comment down below. Thank you. Hi guys, this was my overview on the Canon SX540HS. I really like the camera and I will continue shooting with it. Please subscribe and like, and if you would like more videos like this one, me explaining how to put on the lens cap or the strap, or how it changes different settings, or maybe some more photos that I've taken in the past that aren't on my Instagram. Thank you for support.